Welcome to the second edition of Not In Kokomo's video blog, Not In Kokomo Talks. I'm your host, Nick. This week, we got a lot to talk about. So come on now, let's get started. Let's see, the mayor gave his state of the city address this week. Downtown, millions of dollars were spent so few businesses could be employing a dozen people having a bake sale. Why, that ain't a good deal, I don't know what is. Hmm, two-way streets. City public transportation, totally funded by the feds. Everybody loves that free stuff, don't they? Boy, and they get all kind of people riding on that thing every day. Must be 500. That's what the mayor says, anyhow. Hmm, 500 people by that many days a week? Why, I bet that's only costing the taxpayers about $30 a ride. Well, we could afford to buy them all Chevys for that kind of money. Uh, the mayor talked about merging the emergency service 911 dispatch. He says I'll take credit for that, even though I fought it for years along with my buddy Paul Wyman. It's done now, so somebody ought to take credit. New fire station. Yeah, we needed that. It's going to cost about 14 times more than it ought to, but for some odd reason, probably related to who designed and will build the thing. Can anyone say? Campaign contributors? Huh. The president and the vice president came to town. What a historical event. Never seen nothing like it. With the president's rating so low, even coming to see Mayor Goodnight couldn't hurt him much. Hmm. Schools are doing great. The mayor take credit for that, too, even though he ain't got nothing to do with it. We're going to blow $1 million on forgivable, that'd be freebie, loans. So people who don't live in town can buy and fix up vacant houses. We're sure hoping they use union contractors for the work. It's their awful big campaign contributors. Heh. <laughs> the mayor wants local businesses to do a bunch of stuff for free so we can attract more people. Since it's pretty downtown and biodiesel don't seem to be helping much. Hmm. <laughs> all in all, reruns of last year's State of the Union. Me and the old lady watched the Beverly Hillbillies rerun instead. It was more educational. The city spends federal block grant money. Heh. <laughs> Seventeen thousand to two thousand dollars for slushy stuff with names like Manor and Head Start, membership assistance, a porch, twenty-five thousand dollar furnace, and eleven K for handicap restrooms at Northwest Park. Two hundred and sixteen thousand dollars for program administration jobs for the mayor's pals. Who'd have thought? More roundabouts. Let me see. $2.56 million for the intersection of Markle and Park. 80% of federal funny money. That's funny money. We ain't got it. While the city will fork over about half a million. Consultants on the project probably are or will be a campaign contributor. Who'd have thought? This week's wrap up. Me and the old lady was going shopping at the Rural King last week to get some new mud flaps for the Ramlack. As we pulled into the lot, there must have been 30 people standing around outside. We thought they was having one of those free hot dog days. Wasn't really. Turns out, some fella tried leaving the store with a cart full of stuff he didn't pay for. When the manager tried to stop him, the crook ran over him with a load of freebies. A bunch of arcade customers tackled the guy and threw him on the ground while they was waiting for the police. Made us proud to see it. You'd think that sort of thing only happens at the Rural King. Turns out it don't. Somebody in the crowd said something similar happened just two weeks before at the VP at Wabash and Jefferson. Some moron got ticked off when the clerk there wouldn't allow him to use the employee's only restroom. He left the store and started back in with a great big knife. He was sure surprised when another customer slammed the door on his hand and broke the thing right off. Crazy stuff. Makes us remember that Kokomo is great only cause the people here are. It ain't got nothing to do with the mayor or the county commissioner or anybody in government. We'll try to talk more about that in later shows. Anyhow, that's the second edition of Nodding Kokomo Talk. What the hell?